I went to Merthyr CEX. It's not the best footage because I couldn't exactly point the camera at the guy behind the counter, but this is what happened. What is going on guys, welcome back to the free trading game collection challenge. If you've missed any of the videos up until this point, you will need to go back and check them out. It's not just a case of I recommend you should, you are going to need to check out one video in in particular. Uh, I can't remember exactly what it's called, it's something like CEX or running a scam. It went kind of viral, it's got like 40 something thousand views, which isn't really viral by many people's standards, but by this channel standards, that is astronomical. So thank you for that. And we've gained a lot of new subscribers. If you are one of those, hit the like button with that kind of channel. So in this series, I will go out, I will pick up some bundle deals, some games, consoles, etc. Sell part of it to make the money back and then take whatever's left over into CEX, trade it in, get a voucher and then spend it on games we want to put on the shelf behind us. You can see all this was acquired for free essentially and I do that. It is actually free. You know, we're buying things, we're selling part of it, whatever's left over we use to fill the shelves and that basically means it's free. We'll have a good time and yeah, we've got some really nice games on the go. However, when I picked up that Mega Drive bundle there, it came with quite a few games. And part of that, part of it I kept, and then some of the others I sold, and then some of them I wanted to take into CEX. So I took them in, took three games. Pac-Mania, I think it was, it was like Dragon's Legends or something, it was like a pinball game, and Toki. Now two of them, or rather, yeah, two of them had manuals. One of the manuals was dodgy, didn't have the cover, but it, the rest of it was there. Pac-Mania didn't have the manual, and the pinball game was in really good condition. Took that, no problem. The Pac-Mania game doesn't have a manual, have to take it as unboxed, he told me. And then the other one, oh, it has the manual, but it's damaged, doesn't have a cover. It'll have to come in as unboxed as well. I didn't do that because the prices were just way off. And I didn't think anything of it, traded the one game in, and, and that was the end of it. But then... When I came home, I thought, hang on a minute, when I was editing the video, I was thinking, that's not right, is it? Because we picked up Sonic and California Games in one of the first episodes, second episode, third episode, and we picked them up from CEX, we paid boxed price, and they didn't have the manuals. So then I, was, I started getting really annoyed about it, and then that's when I made the video. Or rather, I think I might have made the video after I went to Swindon CEX and I wanted to pick up Krusty's Funhouse. And that didn't have the manual, but they were charging boxed price. So that kind of got me a little bit angry and I started made a video about it. A lot of people agreed on that topic, but also people have been saying that CEX do other un savory things shall we say so I might may go through the comments on that one and sort of pick out a few things that I, I might be able to relate to and then go try it out for myself but I thought I'm gonna go to a CEX a different one to my local that told me this unboxed thing and I'm going to see what they tell me and I'm, I'm literally gonna go in I'm gonna ask the question if I have if I've got a, a boxed Mega Drive game without the manual what are you gonna take it in as and what are you gonna sell it as and I'm gonna tell them exactly what my local CEX is doing so that's exactly what I did I went to Merthyr the CEX it's not the best footage because I couldn't exactly point the camera at the guy behind the counter but this is what happened you take Mega Drive games in mm -hmm. and they don't have the manual you take them in as unboxed no, it's taken with the manual, or without, as boxed, without manuals. Right, okay. So if you wanted to, you could keep all the manuals and send them as boxed. Is that the same for every store then? Because the Cumbrown one, they took it in as unboxed, but then they sell it as boxed, because it didn't have the manual. I thought that was really dodgy. I'm pretty sure that was doing that. It's supposed to, it, only thing they say with us, uh, these are boxed. Yeah. All right, okay, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. So I apologize for the audio, but like I said, I couldn't just like hold the camera in his face and say, can you answer this question? Because if someone had done that to me, I'd have been like, uh, maybe not. Uh, so the general gist was that my local CEX should absolutely not have done what they did. And I, th I thought that, to be honest, but I, I wanted to hear it from an, em an employee of CEX. And that was the Merthyr store. If you've ever been to Merthyr... I feel sorry for you, but also you will know that if there was ever a CEX store to rip you off, it would be the Merthyr store, just because of the area. And I'm allowed to say it because I used to live there and I got married there. So I've got just as much right as anyone to slag it off. So he told me that if I wanted to take the manuals out of Mega Drive games, keep them or sell them, I can. And then I can trade them in without the manual, but as boxed. 
and I would get boxed price, which now fills me with a lot more, not confidence, but I'm just a lot happier about it, should we say, because now if I do pick up some Mega Drive games that don't have the manual, I can still compare the CEX price and see how much I can get for on trade, knowing that it doesn't have to have the manual. It does also pose the, the, the not the question, but the problem that if I do see that a store has a particular game boxed on the website, it might not have the manual, so it doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to go pick it up. But anyway, I digress. What I had to do then, of course, was to go into my local CEX and have it out with them because they're the reason why this, why that video was made and why I had this mentality in the first place. I was told by an employee that he couldn't take games because they didn't have the manuals. So I went into my local CEX and the audio on this is almost in inaudible, if that's the, the correct word. So I've had to, I, I remembered, but I also had to really turn it up loud and listen to it. So the subtitles are quite accurate. There might be the odd word here or there wrong, but this is what happened. You know when you trade in Mega Drive games? Yeah. If they don't have a manual, is it unboxed then, or? Uh, mm. I obviously unboxed that one, but. Uh... Right. Oh, right, okay. No, no, that's fine. I'll be here, that makes sense, yeah. All right, okay, no problem. All right, brilliant. So, a complete U turn on the whole subject from my local CEX who told me that I couldn't trade things in without the manual as boxed. Now they're telling me, of course I can. What kind of stupid question is that? He did say that unless there was a game that specifically required the manual and it says on the box requires manual. I can't imagine there's a Mega Drive game that requires the manual. I'm guessing he must be talking about PC games, which makes perfect sense, and that's fine. But yeah, different guy, incidentally, to the one that originally told me that I couldn't trade uh, games in as, as boxed if they didn't have the manual. Uh, he wasn't there, which was kind of fortunate, but kind of unfortunate at the same time. It will be very interesting to see what happens when I take in a couple of Mega Drive games in the coming days that don't have manuals and I'm fully expecting boxed prices if I go to this guy there may be a confrontation and I will try my best to record it probably just audio but the whole reason that I sort of queried this in the first place is because I had to return a couple of things so um, last episode maybe I showed you that I had to return a, a game it was Sonic All-Star Racing transformed on the Wii U so that's the receipt I ended up picking up for it because it says disc cleaned. So I took it back to the guy who told me that I can't trade things in unboxed uh, without the manual. And he said, oh, this looks fine, even though there were plenty of scratches on it. And I guarantee you, had I been trying to trade that in, he would have not taken it. This guy, honestly, he must just not like me or just be really fussy. But either way, he cleaned it for me. Fair dues to him. Still didn't work, so I took it back to the Murtha store and I exchanged it for a Mega Drive game. And that Mega Drive game was Toy Story, boxed, as you can see. £12, had to add £2 because Sonic was 10 uh, It was grubby as all hell. The manual was in pretty bad condition. was present, to be fair, but it was in bad condition. The box was dusty and a bit grimy, and the, the label on the cartridge was horrendous. I took it anyway. They did have uh, Mortal Kombat, which is a game that I would absolutely have taken, but it was outside of the price range that we had. I'm more than willing to add, like, £2. Wasn't willing to add 10 So, anyway, took Toy Story, took it home, audio was messed up on it and it wouldn't go past the menu i cleaned it cleaned all the pins and everything i know exactly what i'm doing with it uh, i've i've i think my the what game turned up the other day quack shot quack shot didn't load initially cleaned the pins works fine now played it a fair bit but um yeah unfortunately i had to take it back so I took it back into my local cex and this is really interesting <laughs> Uh, there is more to this as well. We have to put in another episode because I have to go back and, and check something. We'll get to that in a minute. But I took the Mega Drive game back and obviously I said, hey, can I can I return this? She said, we're going to have to book it in for a test. I bought that in Murphy yesterday. Okay, yeah. Um, when I took it over, unfortunately, it, it doesn't get past the menu and the audio is really bad on it. I've tried cleaning the pins and everything, but it's just not having any of it. Test. Right. This is just so that we will test it ourselves. Okay. Um, 
So maybe they want to test it because they, they need to check the insides to make sure that I have not swapped out a you know, authentic cartridge for a reproduction. That is definitely a possibility. But the interesting thing about the whole scenario is they don't do that when they trade them in. They literally look at it, they eyeball it, and they trade it in. However, when they sell that item, they want to test it on the way back. I don't understand why they would want to do that. How can they test something that they didn't know was genuine or working in the first place? So what happens if I trade it or return it, sorry, and it wasn't working? Would they have just given me the refund? What happens if it was working? I don't. I really don't understand the logic behind testing it. Either way, they said we don't have a Mega Drive set up right now, so we'll just have to return it. But, yeah, um, it does mean that, if I've got the credit to show you, we do have £12 in credit now. There it is, £12 in credit to take into CEX um, next time. Now, the next episode will probably be on the weekend, and I'm going to spend that credit, but I'm also going to take in a couple of Mega Drive games that I've just been lying around really waiting to do something with because I wanted clarification on this topic so now that because they don't have the manuals I'm guessing it's fine now and I can trade them in so that's gonna be another 20 ish pound on top of the, the 10 that we already have that's 30 odd pound I've, I've managed to pick up a few other things along the way as well in charity shops and boot sales and stuff so in the next episode we will actually have some CEX credit to spend but the very interesting thing about this whole scenario that I didn't expect to happen we have another problem, and we're going to talk about that in the next episode. They, by the looks of things, have taken back Sonic on the Wii U and Toy Story on the Mega Drive, and they've put them back on sale, despite the fact that I took them back as faulty. Very interesting stuff. It might be a glitch. It might just go on the stock file, even though it's faulty, but I'm going to go into the store very soon and see if it's on display. If it is... I'm going to question it. I'm going to ask the employee, why is that on sale when I returned it as faulty? Uh, next episode, you'll see all that, of course, if you have enjoyed this episode of the Free Trading Game Collection Challenge. Not that we've done anything, but it was an interesting story. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and until the next time, goodbye.